Hello. Hello. <clears throat> well, what the hell is this? What the hell is going on here? I thought I'd just get back on the horse, so to speak, and come and talk to you guys because it's been so long and I'm very sorry. But there's been so much going on, which we'll get into. But in the meantime, I thought I would just show you this. This is my R90 racer, which I custom designed, sort of built, sort of thing. And I'll run through some bits and bobs on this because I've, I've posted it on my Instagram quite a lot. And people love this bike. Uh, and I think I'm going to have to sell it pretty soon. So I thought I'd just come and do a little bit of a catch up with you and a little review type thing of my R90 racer which is pretty bloody sexy with the full Wilbur's boxer cup suspension kit HP rear wheel full titanium Agropovich system uh, fork cartridge kit which comes with the Wilbur's boxer cup kit jizz machine key ring and Dimag carbon wheel and a little custom sort of belly pan job uh, and obviously the amazing paint which is these are these are bmw colors this is tanzanite blue so it's from the m range tanzanite blue and mineral white anyway let's get on it if i can get this bloody thing off the stand because the tire is slightly too big for this stand which is frustrating and the stand, because it has the race kit, the suspension kit, is the side stand is now too short, which is annoying. Let's turn her on. And we're ready to go. God, this has been a long time, hasn't it, guys? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm back. I don't know how long for, but over the... Just wait for this to warm up. But over the last couple of years really since I've been in touch properly I've got some really cool bikes and um, I guess I'm just going to run through some of them starting with this one obviously uh, and show them to you and, and, and get back onto this channel as a just a hobbyist thing you know I've been I've been through quite a lot the last couple of years and again I'll get into that later as we go but uh, yeah it's been <laughs> it's been pretty tough but motorcycles are always here to help me waste my money. Right, we're out of petrol already, which is a good start. So how has, <laughs> how has everyone been? Because mm -hmm. it's been a pretty shit couple of years. So yeah, without getting too heavy, obviously, in the first video back, I'm just going to try and go easy on myself and just talk about this bike because bike reviews are the easiest things to do on YouTube. Um, you just sit on it and talk shit about it. And it doesn't seem that you have to be particularly qualified to do anything these days anyway. You just talk about it and get billions of views, which isn't my concern at the moment. So welcome aboard this. This is a 2018 BMW R90 racer. And this is probably or at, at the time when I bought it, in 2019, this was probably the most unpopular of the R9 T series. They couldn't sell these for love nor money. And that time I did that trip around the UK with BMW to all the BMW dealerships, I got to speak to fucking engine light. Fucking... This fucking engine light is so annoying. It, it, um, with this full system, the, there's a rapid bike unit on here, and it sometimes has a bit of a, a bit of a freak out and um, decides to turn the engine lights on, which is pretty frustrating. Let me just turn it off and on. Anyway, so while we're doing this, so Williams Motorrad had one of these. This was it had about 800 miles on it. It was an X demo. And <clears throat> this is the sport model, so it's got heated grips, 
and it came with the wire wheels which are now not on it obviously uh, but anyway they sorted me out a cracking price so thank you Williams Motorrad uh, it's saying it's got a headlight issue what's wrong with the headlight okay now it's on brake light works indicators ah that indicator doesn't work fuck's sake and anyway because I wanted to so I bought this and then I wanted to build like a a fun sort of road slash track bike and at the time I was talking with BMW about entering the Boxer Cup which is it run it used to run I don't know if it's still going with the IDM championship in Germany and I was going to do a couple of rounds in that uh, but then I didn't get the ACU in time and blah 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 didn't happen but instead I built this and it just took a long time to build and there's been loads of teething problems which are clearly still fucking happening But yeah, so that so I got uh, the Boxer Cup suspension kit. Came up with a nice design for the paint. Bought some fancy wheels and a full system. The last time this engine light came on, it's because again the Rapid Bike, which I don't know if I really recommend the Rapid Bike stuff. It seems I, I, I don't know. I have issues with it. The cylinder heads are labelled the wrong way round, so the O2 sensors plug in to the wrong ones. But I'm pretty sure they rectified that. But anyway, the result is <laughs> that this is, and I've dragged it out to sell it, but I've been riding it the last couple of days, and it's absolutely bloody brilliant. It's a, it's really, it's a really nice power to have on the road. It's fun. It makes you smile. It sounds great, and it's got these really lovely engine lights on all the time, which are really fun. Fucking engine lights. You get to wear wanky gloves. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm going to Barnstormer now. So good time to take the bike in, get them to check it out again. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy, is it? And I thought, oh, you know what? I'll just go and have a nice summer ride into the office, chill out on a cool, summery, wanky bike. Talk to you guys because it's been so bloody long. Oh, birdie. And uh, and here we go. We've got problems. I've got 99 problems and my R90 is definitely one of them. It's frustrating because it's. It, I, I thought it was done. I thought we were clear of all this shit. And we're about to run out of fuel as well, which is great. <laughs> well, if we run out of fuel, this is going to be a brilliant day. Um, all round, isn't it? Brilliant. Bit of a hand signal there. But it does sound pretty bloody good. Pretty bloody good! I mean, you don't really need... I mean, what's the speed limit in this country? 70? Putting 75, so... You don't really need any faster than this. Oh, something got absolutely murdered there. It does sound bloody brilliant. Bit of carnage. Okay, we made it to the fuel stop. Life is getting better. <laughs> At least it looks good. Let's put E10 in it. I don't really want E10, but I've pulled up to the wrong pump and I can't be fucked to move. Petrol's pretty expensive now, isn't it? Bloody hell. The world's gone mad. Hey, number two, please. Oh, there she is. Bloody thing. I mean, it rides forgetting the lights on the dash it rides absolutely gloriously it's taller now as well because I've been six foot three and a bit I find these a bit small to sit on but the boxer cup kit jacks it up a bit Hugh Jackman and I find it relatively comfortable. People hated these 
Um, but I think I've got the right-ish body shape. I've got a long arms. I think people didn't like the reach to the bars. The pegs are quite high, but then you need this, because I did actually take this round Alcaraz before it had the suspension upgrades. And, um, well, first of all, it was like riding a sloppy sofa, but it also was grinding all the foot pegs and stuff out. And it actually, I touched the gear lever on a curve and it shifted and it just, I mean, I almost went out the seat. So uh, yeah, it definitely needs this suspension kit. If you're gonna do anything serious, it's absolutely fine for just bimbling around. Oh, fuck you. Right, let's go and get some uh, nibbles. Yeah, I mean, there's so much stuff I really want to talk about, but unfortunately, YouTube just isn't the place to be able to talk about any of it anymore. So I guess I'm sort of... I've been anxious about doing anything again, because I don't know if I'm... I don't know. I don't know what to do, really. I don't know whether to s st say the things that I believe in um, and try to tackle the problems that we're all facing or just suck the teat like everyone else. But I think that's immoral to do that. Um, I think you should talk up for what you believe and... I don't know. But anyway, this is absolutely delicious to ride, it really is. As you can probably see, it's just so... torquey. It's quite stable, really stable, compared to what it was with the old standard suspension. So yeah, I kind of... I don't know, so I guess this video is... Hello! <laughs> Haven't seen you for a while. Um, there's nothing special about this video. There's no like, oh my god, it's back, you know, da da da, da the channel's back on. It's just, I'm, I'm sick of worrying about what what to do. Let's just jump into it and see what fucking happens. Um, you know, you guys are a, as much of a part of the channel as, as me. And you, over the last nine years, maybe even ten years, you know, you have a say in what happens, so I guess let's have a discussion about it. Because gone are the days where you can just ramble on and talk about anything you want. It, that, that's just not that's just not how YouTube operates anymore. Uh, and even if you, even if it didn't punish you for the th for your opinions, it just won't promote the it just won't promote anything. The algorithms have have got so polluted. Um, in favour of anything that is commercial, basically, that you can't have a, a you, well, you can have a great conversation with about six people, <laughs> but otherwise YouTube's just not interested. And then it's really disheartening producing content, which is kind of fun and a good chat. And you think this is actually helping the world, <laughs> or at least we're we're having an open discourse. Uh, and then the internet says no, and I just think it's really shit, actually. Let's just stick it here on this no parking bit, shall we? So yeah, I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of stuck between, thank you, just letting it go and just going, well, whatever, it is what it is, and just going, hey, anyway, here's my motorbikes. Let's go and have some fun. That doesn't really get me, get me going. I like talking. I like discussing difficult things. Anyway. Right, what do we want? Sushi. When do we want it? Now. I want a nice coffee as well. To feed my addiction. I don't even like coffee. Yes, please. I hate supermarkets so much. I can't stand being in them. I want to be in them for as little as possible. I can't do, like, big shopping trips. Not not just Sainsbury's, all of them. I just, I just, I just want to get out as soon as I've got in. I don't really drink anymore either. Basically, I'm a bundle of laughs. <laughs> Oh, go on then. This mini roll just shouted at me. This I disagree with. I hate it. Like, why do you need to see my face? I find it really offensive. Goodbye. Fucking robots. Served processed shit by a robot. 
that's where we're going. <laughs> God, I tell you, I just, uh, I just want to live in a cabin with a log burner and a vegetable patch. Oh, uh, yeah, good Narben. Sorry, everyone. I'm obnoxious, and I know it. Engine lights out. Oh no, it's not. Whatever it is, it's not serious, but it's just fucking annoying. And I can't sell it, because it's, as soon as I sell it, the person who I sell it to will be like, oh, what's this engine light? I just want an easy life, honestly. I understand now why people buy maroon Ford Mondeos, because they've given up. They're just like, fuck it, I can't be bothered to have anything cool. I'll just have this boring, average shit thing. I apologise to anyone that has a maroon Ford Mondeo. Do they still make the Mondeo? I was actually thinking about buying a Dacia. A Dacia Duster. <laughs> Just because they're so cheap. And you think, well, how bad could it be? And I reckon with some big fat tyres on, wrap it like army green and put like a cool roof rack thing on and a snorkel, it'd be pretty good. Obviously rip the Dacia badge off. Everyone will be like, wow, what's that? But then, I'm just going to get into loads of trouble, aren't I? Because as soon as you start changing things from standard spec... Oh, it's the old Rosbergs. Just like, pull the clutch in so he can't hear me. Um, that's when you start getting problems, isn't it? As soon as you deviate from standard. Which is exactly what I've done here. And anyway, I was supposed to be showing off about how brilliant this is. And now it's just giving me jip. banana Whoa. it's so weird isn't it because when you're on a bike with a nice loud exhaust it sounds brilliant but when you hear one drive past you think what a bell end <laughs> but when you're on it it's like fuck it I don't care ba, ba, ba. But everyone else is like shut up shut it sir okay well let's go and try and sort this fucking shit out again shall we I think I might have to take it to JHS, I'll take it down to James and just say, look, flash the ECU, do something, get rid of this, it's so annoying. I wonder if I could get some marker pen and just, <laughs> just fill it in, <laughs> so no one can see the engine light. Oh, that's nice, I miss mine so much. Let's see if they can do this. <laughs> Hello, mate. Flash forward, a few hours in the day, turn on, fingers crossed. Okay, well, engine light is off. Uh, Dan, the engineer, said that he has reset the rapid bike. It was, it was as suspected, an O2 sensor fault. But he's reset it, cleared it, and he's also upgraded the firmware on the rapid bike. So hopefully, we should be, we should be good. We should be rocking and rolling. Fingers crossed. Quick shifter's working quite nicely. That's another aftermarket bonus feature. Oh, why is there a solid white here? All it's doing is just making the overtake more risky. It's fucking stupid. I wish town planners would get their shit together if town planners are responsible for the highways. Probably not. It's probably a billion people sitting around drinking cups of tea doing sweet fuck all. Apart from claiming their awesome pension from the state. Bloody civil servants. Is there a car going to pull out? Well, so far so good. If, um, if it happens again, then I'm just going to take it to a, a proper tuning specialist, I guess. I, I shouldn't really expect the standard BMW dealership to be helping me with this. The Barnstormer are being pretty good, actually, in helping me just 
try and figure it out. At least I can plug it into their system and it's telling me what is wrong with it. So that's been helpful, so thank you. Danke. Danke mein Führer. I don't really ever feel in a rush on this bike. That's what I quite like about it. Like normally, if I was on a, an S1000 or a Jigsaw, I'd have done this guy hours ago. But I um, I don't really give a shit. I'm just enjoying riding, which is which is the nice thing. I'll do it now though. But yeah, I think uh, I've definitely um, questioned whether I want to sell this for sure because I haven't really enjoyed it yet. But it's just been giving me aggro. And I don't really want anything in my life these days that gives me aggro. I don't have time. Uh, if it was just, if, I mean, I, look, I'm blessed to have multiple bikes, but if it was just this, if this was the only bike I had that was giving me aggro, fine, I could deal with it. But there's fucking three more in the shed that are just pain in the asses. So, yeah, I want things around me that I enjoy and make me feel good. But uh, yeah, I do. Uh, this does make me feel good when it's working. But I'm sure it's going to be fine now. I have faith, like George Michael. Right. Well, we're looking pretty good on the old uh, warning light. So fingers crossed that's done now. Upgrade the firmware, of course. Bloody hell! Every time I turn my PlayStation on as well, or my TV, or my kettle, anything, bloody upgrade, bloody upgrades. And I think we are good. Nice. All right, let's get a cup of tea. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Anyway, if I don't see you again, um, this has been a nice catch up. Hopefully, speak to you soon. Take care. Big love.